Hey there, everybody. Just checking in, seeing how things are going. I am now uh, east of San Diego in the mountains, if you will, small mountains. And it is great to land somewhere and to feel like I might be somewhere for a little bit. So I just wanted to check in and uh, anchor in everybody's Earth Star and open up their Sun Star and just keep at this um, format with everybody. I hope everyone's doing well post solar flare intensity. Gosh, that was a lot to process. Kind of felt like at times my insides were being power washed with all of the energy coming through. So I hope if you were sensitive to that and and i understand it's still ongoing a wee bit that you've been able to sort of come back to center some folks don't notice anything some folks are super sensitive to it so hopefully you know there's a balance um, that's been emerging for you after that intensity if you felt that at all all right folks let's see what's going on in the collective here uh, yeah, so I'm just going to invite you to get comfy in your space. Remember to breathe. Imagine that you're allowing anything that's showing up to move through you into the earth. All right, everyone. So with your intention and my intention, let's see what's hopping in and popping here, okay? All right, so there's a little relief here, which is nice. I think we could all use a little relief. There's a little excitement around summertime if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So I'm just gonna invite you to breathe and to just um, be okay with, um, I wanna say plans changing, <laughs> okay? Not that your intentions aren't um, worthy of happening and, and those things are important, but um, sometimes we can uh, encounter detours, right? And that's okay. And to trust the detours. Feeling into the flow of things. And uh, it's interesting, what's also showing up here is um, for some folks, and maybe for all of us, to remember to the value of switching it up, right? Um, some of us are serious creatures of habit, myself included. Uh, and for new stuff to show up, you gotta you gotta have different dance moves, you know, um, or be in different spaces, or um, approach things differently. And it's okay to acknowledge, it's, it's funny, it's okay to acknowledge boredom. <laughs> and that could be in any form, right? Um, what we're doing, what our relationship patterns are, where we're going. I just hear, I'm ready for something new. I want something new. Kind of makes sense. Tropical, zodiac. We uh, just moved into Gemini here, so that's very mercurial, very experimental, very communicative. <sighs> so I'm going to invite you to be open to uh, conscious experiments, right? Let's drop this down, okay? Let's make some space for more fun, different kinds of fun. Fun you didn't know that you could have. Yeah. Yeah, new forms of play. Um, I don't know, flying a kite just dropped in. I can't remember the last time I flew a kite. So um, that might be something to consider doing. Um, playing in mud, <laughs> the kinds of things you would do with a little kid, right? That um, um, maybe your inner inner kiddo 
could use some more fun and and do something different, right? Um, consider engaging in enjoyment that you may not have experienced since you were a kid. Yeah. There's just some information here around really honoring the potential uh, in the present moment. Because a lot of times we're thinking about the past or planning the future, you know, doing that. So just be here now, okay? And um, make your excitement and curiosity an invitation for folks around you, if they're open to it, right? Okay. Let's make some more space down here, okay? Sometimes, like, you know, if we're around people that maybe don't give themselves permission or we're feeling like we need to be super practical and have everything in control, and, and that's important. Balance is important. But, um, you know, I'm going to encourage everyone to acknowledge the value of being in the present moment and having big belly but laughs and being available and open to a next another level of joy because there's certainly a lot of opportunities to get sucked into all kinds of you know heavy stuff going on in the world um so you know no one is you know losing if you're bringing in more light into your body and into your life okay Yeah, I mean, if, if you're encountering any kind of, like, you get this scowly look, right? <laughs> Where joy is suspect. All right, let's knock that out because that's just, uh, it's an old story there. And just like when you see someone in, out in the world, um, Makes me think of when we see kids that are having fun or joyful or smiling, right? Like they don't have the the programming to like get serious, right? They're like, yeah, I'm just gonna have fun, and that can like brighten us up, right? To imagine that you're smiling, um, perceiving the reflection of joy in other people, okay? So anywhere that joy has become suspect in our world or your life or your heart, let's make space for that to move, okay? Let's put some wings back on that collective heart, okay? There we go. It's so funny. I'm hearing make safe joy, wait, make joy safe again. Wow. That's kind of wild, right? There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, folks, that's sweet. Let's see what's going on upstairs, okay? So this energy center, I've talked about this before, is about 8 to 12 inches below your feet and above your head. So same proximity. We're just inviting the flow to go back and forth here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, there sure is a lot going on up here. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I have to say up here. Well, let's clean this up because there's just a whole bunch of activity up here. Um, it just makes me think of everything up in the sky um, and in space that's very active, okay? Um, 
And even if we're not like consciously aware of it, you know, that can have an effect on all kinds of things up there. So let's let's clean up that space up above a little bit or open that up. Okay, so it's not so woo, kind of buzzy. And I'm literally hearing clearing the air. So anywhere that communication has the potential to be cleaned up, right? Internally, externally. It's funny, I'm hearing that within organizations and outside of organizations, anywhere that um, clearing the air would be helpful for all kinds of elements or sides or dynamics. Let's make some space for that to move, okay? Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. I think we did this last time. I'm going to use a couple sonic sliders and we're going to pull the cotton out of everybody's ears here. So anywhere that your thoughts have been like ruminating, you're trying to figure something out or stuck on something, let's make space for that to move. Okay, so... Like you can imagine these are on either side of your ears. I'm going to invite everyone to breathe. There you go. And anywhere that seen something from a different perspective is helpful or can illuminate uh, clarity. Let's make space for that to show up for you. Hmm. And uh, what also drops in there is ask some questions and um, around gathering information, around perspectives. So you're working on something in your life or your space or your relationships and you're like mm, what's going on there ask someone that you perceive things work well with right like see how that works for them ask them questions how do you make that work um because that may give you some helpful hints on a different perspective There you go. And it's okay, you know, like, um, grant yourself some grace there, you know, because sometimes we're, you know, depending on how you're wired, you get really stuck in your perspective. And it could be a, really a simple fix in the way that you perceive things. And, you know, don't, don't be hard on yourself because you're like, oh, wow, that was really simple, right? Everyone's got their own filter and their own lens. Whew. Ooh, there you go. All right, so now we're hanging out upstairs. Um, what I'm noticing up here is there's some energy in the solar plexus, which is kind of interesting. Um, to me, this kind of feels like going through a, um, an identity reboot to kind of meet people on a higher level. Um, you know when we go through shifts and adjustments in our own life and our own um, relationship with ourselves, everything changes, right? Like it, it, can't, it, can't, it can't not help but to change um, because you're part of that dynamic. And um, it doesn't need to be like heavy handed or explicit. It can just be really subtle. And they're like, well, you've really changed. And you go, yeah, I have. <laughs> That's good, <laughs> hopefully. All right. Let's um, invite a new relationship with self that can um, cascade into all kinds of external dynamics with people, okay?
There you go. And so, yeah, I'm going to invite everyone to meet yourself on a, um, a new level. And so that um, there's the invitation for those relationships and communications to shift as well. Okay, without it being dramatic. It's like, it's interesting. It makes me think of like the evolution of our sun and its cycles and what it's doing and all these like really massive pulses of light. And, you know, that's reflective of some major stuff going on internally, right? Um, while we're in a, an energetic and emotional and electrical ecosystem, um, that um, a component of what's going on on our star is uh, happening from the inside as well as being connected. So as within, so without, all right? <laughs> there we go. So let's accept and, and um, be open to some excitement around evolution and curiosity there instead of um, that. I don't know, there were some just some moments where there's a lot of overwhelm in this past little bit of uh, time. And what I'm noticing in here is that be excited. Don't hold on so tight. See what happens. There you go. Notice how bright and clean and clear the potential is on the other side of the power wash. Mm -hmm. It's like when you clean your car, like I swear the car knows, you know, it knows it got a bath. <laughs> it does. It's got energy. Everything's got energy. Okay. There you are. Nice. Great. All right, folks, that feels really good. We are going to just do a quick little figure eight or two or three to get all that integrated. I'm noticing how potent just doing figure eights are in the field and how wonderful that feels. So folks, I'm gonna go from your inner generator, your solar plexus, and we're just gonna go around your feet, back to your solar plexus and around your head. It feels good to be whole and balanced around those wonderful feet, back to your solar plexus and around your head. There we go. And then one more time. Around your feet, back to center and around your head. There we go. Nice. Folks, we're just gonna work with a 528. Just kind of get everyone back to their happy place, back into their body. Yeah, make play safe again, all right? Lots of love and blessings to everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit, and I hope that was supportive for you. Take care. Be well.